So welcome back and in this video I want to talk a little bit about the use of um, ASM because um, usually we don't want to write bigger programs in it. We usually want to either invoke it from um, another programming language or have inline assembly for example in C or C++ we can have inline assembly code to um, optimize some performance critical parts of it. So far we have just used syscalls basically to do the same thing as we could do in C the same way basically. Um, but the real power really comes um, of assembly really comes from um, number crunching stuff. So if we can for, for example um, have SIMD instructions Um, these are basically instructions um, that are single instructions but handle multiple data at once. So we just have one instruction that executes um, but can, yeah, here's a list of them um, that can mani manipulate multiple data at once. And if we optimize our algorithm to use something like this in a very performance critical part of it we can often get a huge performance boost but yeah i don't want to talk too deeply about this actually because oftentimes um, your algorithm is the main performance issue and not the implementation so we can implement a better algorithm in a higher programming language and be fine so since we've just called system calls so far in ASM, let's take a really quick look into how to solve a really simple problem in assembly. And for that I went to project Euler and let's just do the first one. Um, basically this is a variation of FISBUS basically. We need to find all numbers that are multiples of 3 or 5 and then add them together. And we have to do that um, for all numbers between 0 and 1000. So let's start doing that. I think we can just modify our hello world. Don't think we need this. Um, this one is, we will reuse these. So And this one should be BSS and we want to have our sum and this should be a quad word so we can store a larger amount of data in it variable for our result like this and then we want to initialize it and also we want to have a loop counter let's use rcx for that and we want to um, iterate up to a thousand. So this. Initialize our sum zero. And this will be the begin of our country. Um, or hmm. actually not sure what we will use it for yet. Then we want to have a loop for our sun and we want to iterate a thousand times over that. So
Yeah, well, let's do it like this. Let's do this as a start. Mm. Yeah, in a for loop this would be i equals zero. And then we want to have our max max count. Let's do it like this, right? And then some loop. <coughs> and we want to compare if array x is equal to rcx. And if it's greater, then we want to go to done. So let's specify done. <coughs> so this basically means if r a x greater than r c x go to done like that or not go to done this would be just break break and then <coughs> we want to move our current counter into RDI Yeah, let's make it more clear. And then we want to start testing. And see if that is divisible by three. So the remainder is then in RDX. So we need to compare with RDX. If that's zero, then we want to um, we want to add it to our sum. Let's. I to add some RDI, right? That should be already it. Or oh, three. Um, and of course, <coughs> we don't want to have the value. We need to dereference it. So because um. The label will just be the address, so yeah. <coughs> then we want to do the same thing for five. Mm, yeah. After that, we want to just increment our a r a x, and then jump back to our sum loop. Let's just have this loop. Right? No need for any complications. <coughs> and that should already kind of work, hopefully. So as you can see, it's not that complicated, but it gets quite lengthy um, really fast in ASM. So this just goes to demonstrate um, that you really want to keep ASM program to a minimum when it's really needed. 
I really hope this actually works. Um, let's call right, right. Um, this one should be fine. Then we want to have this one pointing to some. Um, the length. Um, what word? <laughs> Ten, not sure. Let's see. And of course we will get some gibberish because um, we need to transform it to ASCII, I think, but let's see. Yeah, let's see. This should be fine. I'm just thinking about, like, we have to iterate over some, I guess, and oh, yeah, because this one will just be just gibberish um, when we output it into the console. But I'm kind of lazy, <laughs> so don't want to iterate over it again and add some stuff to it. Yeah, let's see if it actually compiles. And we do have an error code. Attempting to initialize memory in BSF section, of course we can't do that. confused um, right now. How do we define data in this section? Let's see. Okay, we need to reserve bytes. Okay, okay. I actually forgot about that. So. Do that. And um, where was it? Yeah, it's not jump, it's just JP. Uh, operation size, not specified.
so it seems to kind of work, but <clears throat> it seems to be an infinite loop now. Let's see. Let's see what we've done wrong again. Um, so there were some issues. Um, I think I won't cut this out because it shows that even a simple problem, um, well, is takes time to write in ASM correctly at least. And also I know that we probably will get gibberish out of here, but it at least has the correct result stored in it, hopefully. So let's see. We jump to the loop. And then we compare the RAX to the RCX. Yes, this should be correct. And then we jump to done. Let's see if we reset RAX somewhere. Or maybe, maybe, maybe we need to back up the current RAX because, let's see, um, the result will be in. Uh, Yes, yes, it writes back to RAX, of course. This was a mistake on my side. So we need to back up RAX. Um, I think we can use RBX. And also we want to, I know it didn't change yet, but we want to keep this consistent if we add something later. So we make sure that it's at the correct value of RAX. And we also restore RAX here. And that should be at and yeah we get something <laughs> finally we get something out and uh, so let's maybe pipe this to nope next one maybe let's see nope Okay, let's do it like this. Out, put, dot, dot, and then we could do hex them. Out, put. Yep, that's of course not a valid command. Like this. And then we can use Python. Python. Do we have IPython? Mm -hmm. um, of course not. Not found a Python tree, a Python. Yes, I want that. Perfect. Let's just quit out of here again. And note the number down. Example of the output file. Um, Let's see what we have here. Um, zero FDA. Oh, of course we get an address. Oh man. Yeah, this is not the right 
put yet. So let's go again. A world is um sure. And we don't want to. Hmm. Is it really that high? Hmm. Is the number really that high? Because this one takes the pointer that is correct. But the output we get is it looks like a memory address. Maybe we can find a solution <laughs> um, to see if we got it right. Um, um, are there solutions here? Okay, okay. Um, doesn't look like it. So let's see. to see if we got it right or not. Um, yeah, problem. Yeah. Um, I really just want to have the right answer. Don't want... Ah, here, numerical answer. Right, that should be... Problem one is this, so this looks not... Correct. <laughs> Almost, but not quite. Two six six. So, what did we do wrong? Let's see. Um, will I saw an astronaut? Oh, okay, okay. So if it's divisible by three, then don't add. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. So we have another logic bug here. Hello, world, Ethan. And um, as you can see, um, we just go. Yeah, we don't stop here. So what we need to do. is yeah we should have another state here um of add yeah um this one makes no sense right hmm. Because we want to only jump equal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Um, yeah, also we. Also want to add this. Yeah. Yeah, that is a bad label. Add current. Continue like that, and we also only want to jump equal at current, and also here at current. Yes, this should be final, right? So, let's see. Oh, 
Also, of course, we might want to edit our make file. And we want to have our output that and that one is dependent on hello world elf and we get that by running hello world I that output that yeah and then we want to maybe extend it was an output that and we get that by extend Like that, right? Like, next up. Uh, command not found. Yes, because we didn't annotate it correctly, um, prefix it correctly with the dot slash so it knows where to search for the binary. Let's do it again. So why there is no output? What did we break? What did we break? Downgrade done, that's fine. Get current, jump continue, and so on. Yeah, that should be fine. Or maybe. We also need to add it here, right? Not sure. Not sure, but we should, yeah, yeah we should, we should. Uh, of course it adds zero, so okay, okay. Oh, man, all these logic bugs. And um, now... Uh, not sure of that. Sounds correct. Let's see what we get here. Three and then B eight. And that is not pre prefixed correctly again. And it looks does this look right? What was the solution again? Um where do we have it? Nope. What did we do wrong? Two, three, four, one, six, eight. Let's see. Two, three. Huh, that's curious. That's really curious because only one byte here is off. Oh, one digit here is off, and that's really curious. Three, nine, eight. That is really odd. Like, I have to say, this is really odd. Are there others? Clap. The same thing, right? Um, almost out. Doubting that almost doubting 
that this one is correct actually. Hmm. Why might that be? Like honestly, I can't think of anything that would cause something like this. Should we download one solution? Maybe. And try. Ah, uh, maybe Python solution. Let's see. We can just have that. Pasting one control. Yeah, sure. But that's not correct. Um, let's see. Get. Sorry. Oh, of course, of course. Wrong shell. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, okay. So, this is the correct solution. Maybe we can use this and check if our solution is correct or not. And we're just outputting it correct, uh, incorrectly, maybe. Da, 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 da. Check if our solution is correct. We want to pair. Mm. The value of sum to the salt. And then if jump equal to correct, otherwise we print that. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Jeff, seven. So, and we also need to define the result. So, let's find bytes. Oh. Define keyword. And then we want to copy this. Well, yeah, where was it? Yeah. <coughs> yep. Schneider solution on the list. Two, three, three, one, six, eight. Two, three. 
one six eight like that. And yeah, let's see if that's right or not. Um let's check our floor again one second. If it's correct then we jump, we jump, and we jump to continue. Okie dokie. Like uh, in ASM fifty five. Yeah, I think we can't compare two values straight together, so we first have to load them into registers. So move on the X salt. And then move RDX some. Yeah, I don't think we need RAX, so we just RAX and RDX. So like that, and we can compare RAX to. Um, hello. The X and B done, hopefully. And uh, yeah, that's not correct, so we need to check again. So, what do we do wrong? We're starting with zero. Of course, uh, a, a thousand is uh, a thousand is missing, right? So, is it greater or greater equal? Let's check the the um, description of the problem again. Below, uh, below one thousand, not. Mm, oh man! Oh man! Of course, of course. So, not greater, but greater equal. So, if we are at a thousand, we don't want to add it again. So, yeah, it should be it, right? Finally. And we get a correct answer. Oh man, this was, as you can see, a little bit of a hustle. Um, maybe a lot of a hustle and I think um, I will cover how to interface with a CE in the next video because I think this was already longer than intended but I really did go uh, blind into this and this really shows the point that writing ASM um, takes a lot, little bit of time. Of course I'm not the best ASM programmer as you might have seen but um, it shows that it really takes some time uh, to write code, even really simple code like this. And yeah, see you in the next video then with um, more... Well, next video we will then discuss how to interface um, with other programming languages. Yeah, see you next time.